This is an event that's for um, high schools and colleges from across the Americas. So we do have teams that are participating from Canada, from the United States, Mexico, Brazil, Chile, and Guatemala. I have been very privileged to get to know some of these students from some of these high schools. Some of them are in farming communities. Um, they are operating on shoestring budgets. What you all should know is that while Shell doesn't charge any sort of registration fee or anything for the students to be part of this competition, they do need faculty advisors. We need, they need folks like Dr. Zavadny here and his team to help guide these students through. So it's truly the teachers and the professors who devote their time to spend with the kids to really bring this achievement to life. So Irby is about four years old, so we work, the team works every Saturday morning for about four or five hours. Um, so if you multiply that out, it's a lot of time, as well as the extra weekends and all-nighters before competition, that always happens. And so um, as far as what miles per gallon we get, um, our fuel, uh, our system in our car is a hybrid electric drivetrain. Um, and so we use a gasoline engine to charge, uh, to use a generator to charge our batteries. Um, and so due to the nature of that system, it's very complex and we've had some issues over the last couple of years trying to get all the bugs worked out. So we don't have solid numbers, but our, uh, our calculations say we should get around 500 to 550 miles per gallon. That's a lot of mileage. I wouldn't even have to make a pit stop. <laughs> you can make the whole race. To put that in perspective, what Joey's saying, we run 500 mile races. So uh, with an 18 gallon fuel cell, that'd be at least 17, 18 races. So that's, that's going to run the whole season. <laughs> Visualize this, they're going to be camping out with their cars, these students, right next to their car the whole weekend. Because many of them uh, get here and their cars don't start, okay, their cars haven't proven themselves. There's a heartbreak because they have to go through technical inspection. Some of them don't even get to start the race and they've traveled all this way. But also those that, you know, finish the race, the thrill of that. So put yourself in your perspective of your, of your kids, as Brad mentioned, at 19 years and 20 and 21 years of age that have put their heart and soul what they've done here and to experience all the technical situations that go on that weekend. Imagine all of those people being targets for us, for future people that we can hire in our industry in the automotive side, whether they be our next crew chiefs in the future for Team Penske or uh, people working on our, uh, on our race car. It really gives you an appreciation for what, and also what happens here that's transferable upstairs. We talk about uh, the kids, and I say kids, but they're 19 or 20 years old, uh, and I look at them and, and I think to myself how uh, each and every one of them, I'd like to have the opportunity of, you know, working on my race car in the next, you know, decade when they uh, get through their, their college experience. So, uh, you know, these, are, these people here are, are people that, even in just the racing industry, there's a huge shortage uh, of this educational background, uh, and, and we love it. So this is this is great for us, and I, I guess I'm thinking a little selfishly, and then I'm thinking for the, you know the the real automotive world, not the fake racing automotive world, but the real racing automotive world. What kind of shortage there must be, uh, and so this is great. It's great to uh, to not just talk about doing something, but actually do something to help these guys out, and to have events like this. This is exactly what I would want if I was in their shoes. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for my home city, Detroit, uh, that we can uh, put events like this together and hopeful that it'll be around for many years to come. Obviously to see, um, you know, Shell be innovative with, with the Eco Marathon here. Um, obviously is a, a partner for, for me as a driver. It's, uh, it's definitely neat hearing the, the background to it and, um, it and how Shell supports an amazing program. Um, like Brad said, it, there's a shortage of, of engineers that uh, we're always looking for and um, looking for those new latest and greatest ideas that uh, you, know, you see the creativity that goes into this. Yeah, it will transfer into uh, you know, real world uh, situations and um, it's something definitely to be involved with. So remember, April 10th through 12th, right? You'll be seeing 130 cars moving around our city, up uh, Jefferson Avenue in Larned and, uh, and down Woodward uh, Avenue as well. Uh, give me also an idea. Shell has also gone ahead and repaved our roads out here for us, for that track. Um, their investment, their kind of uh, investment in our city as well. So uh, we wish they could do some freeways for us as well too, but we'll start, we'll start there. Um, but it just shows the kind of uh, investment they're making in our community to bring this event to uh, Detroit to make it very successful. And you see what's going on here at the Auto Show. And uh, um, I want to thank Joey and, and thank Brad. And once again, thank Pam and all your team from Shell for what you've done here, your leadership in this, uh, in this uh, initiative. And we're proud to be a part of it and we're proud to support it.
My first impression was uh, when I got in the car that I was driving a car built by 19-year-old and 20-year-olds. Um, and uh, I was thinking about that and what I was doing when I was that age, and there's no way I could have built that. Uh, so uh, that was pretty impressive. And uh, I was told to save uh, energy, but I did run flat out. So uh, the first few laps I saved a lot of energy. but. Uh, I had a lot of fun and uh, it's always uh, interesting to do something that's kind of new and outside of uh, you know, the boundaries that we have uh, as far as what we do as race car drivers and this is a, a whole uh, another level and I think it helps you appreciate uh, all the different things that cars are capable of and, and can do so uh, I had a lot of fun.